What is up YouTube Exit Solutions here and today I am bringing you another video and this is on how to install WebKit exploit for your PlayStation 4. So you've probably already seen that I have uploaded a recent video showing a GTA 5 mod menu. Now obviously this GTA 5 mod menu is using the PlayStation 4, it's currently offline but maybe in the future we'll be able to go online with it. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you exactly how to set up the WebKit exploit so that you can run third party menus and other tools. So the requirements are 1.76, so 1.76 firmware is required on your PlayStation 4 console. Unfortunately there's no way to downgrade to 1.76 if you are already on a higher firmware, then you have to either get a friend's console, maybe buy a bundle that's old on Amazon, you can check the link in the description below where I show you how to buy these, or if you just play offline and you have your console that's on a lower firmware, then you can also upgrade to 1.76 and follow this tutorial. So once you have your PlayStation for firmware on 1.76 we're going to go ahead and jump on the console so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the settings tab and go down to network once inside of network go to set up internet connection and choose either wi-fi or a lan cable in my case i am using wi-fi just to show that the onboard wi-fi does work for this webkit exploit choose your desired network and simply connect to it once you've done that test the connection afterwards just to make sure that you can obtain an ip address go down to view connection status and in the IP address field you'll see 192.168.0.136 make note of this we'll be using this later on the video go back and then go down to system settings inside of system make sure that you uncheck both featured content and save data and update files as this will prevent the update downloading the latest firmware onto your console next we're going to be going on to the user's guide in order to install the webkit exploit now this can be a bit tricky so be sure to pause the video if you need help move the mouse down onto the support link at the bottom and simply press x this will load a new window as you can see hover over the word that says news and then click on YouTube. Once that's loaded click on sign in in the top right hand corner of the screen then go to the very bottom left hand corner of the screen and click on about Google. This will open another new window. On this page we're going to scroll to the very bottom of the page and then click on help. And finally, in the top right hand corner, you'll see Google with a little arrow. Simply click on it and it will take you to Google. Now what you want to do is type in the URL on screen and this will basically take you to the WebKit exploit. Click on the first URL link in the Google page. And voila, we have PS4 WebKit Playground. Once the page is fully loaded, we still have other windows open. So be sure to close the other windows on the left hand side of the screen as this will interfere with the execution process. Be sure to refresh the page one more time and simply click go where it says code execution. It would then say waiting for payload so now we can head over to the PC. Okay guys so once we are on the PC be sure to download the webkit patch.bin file and also netcat GUI. Credits to Modded Warfare for creating this tool as it's very useful indeed. Simply open Open Netcat GUI and you'll see an IP address field and a port number. Simply type in the IP address that we copied earlier into the input field and also 9023 as the port, this should be default and simply drag the web patch into the program. We can go ahead and hit inject and on the PlayStation 4 screen you should see stage executing. Be sure to wait a few minutes as this can take a little while but once the stage says not started that means it's been completed. Simply hit the PlayStation middle button on the DualShock controller and we can head over to the web browser and see we now have access. So now what we can do is simply enter the URL as we did earlier and go back to the WebKit exploit playground. Once inside of the WebKit playground you can also add a bookmark so every time Time you open the web browser you can simply click bookmarks and then obviously open the page so it's much easier than typing the URL in. So that is pretty much it on how to install the WebKit playground and set up a working internet browser offline on your 176 console. I hope this has helped in a way, comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.